Welcome to the Tepper School of Business Multimedia Series. For more information on the Tepper School at Carnegie Mellon, please visit us at www.tepper.cmu.edu slash multimedia. And now, here's your selected video. Hello, this is Jeff Becker of the Tepper School of Business. I'm here today with Baong Sun, Associate Professor of Marketing. Some of Baong's recent work has investigated consumer response to cross-selling campaigns and loyalty programs. Welcome. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for having me here. Uh, Baong, I'd like to ask you today about gift cards and extended warranties, two products many of us will be either receiving or giving this year. From the retailer's perspective, why are gift cards an attractive product to sell? So gift cards are perfect, are very popular uh, for um, popular choices for holiday gifts. So this industry is growing very, very fast. Last year, the uh, total sales was like $24 billion. This year, people think it's going to be $26 billion, which is going to be up by 6%. Um, on average, each U.S. consumer they spend $200 on gift cards. That's a significant amount. Um, so this industry is growing very fast uh, because of at least the three reasons. First is that the wider distribution. Uh, second is that the new technology. Third is because of the more savvy uh, marketing distribution, marketing uh, strategies. So those are the things that is behind the growth. So for the technology part is that they now the Companies can make fancier and fancier gift cards. Uh, for example, the Home Depot, they give the gift card, which can also be used as the DVD. Uh, and also other companies, they make gift cards that can sing, can glow. So Starbucks give a gift card that you can put in the some kind of a little, a little kind of a red mitten. So those are cute and also the technology uh, make the gift card physically more attractive. And also, um, and also the gift card by itself is a green, is a kind of a green gift for the people who are, who are going to give out. They don't have to go through the hassle to think about what gift to buy. They just get the gift card and then grab it and then go. For the people who are going to receive the gift card, there's a less waste because they, they don't have to decide whether I like it or not. So it's a green card a gift. And another thing that is behind it is that um, now they, it is becoming more popular among employers. They, at the end of the year, they buy the gift card they give out, uh, hand it out to, the, to their employees. So that's another reason why this industry is becoming more popular. From the retailer's perspective, this is a tool that kind of extends the shopping season, if you will. Mm -hmm. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, we did some research uh, to study consumers' purchase behavior. We compare consumers who pay using cash versus and also credit card versus consumers who pay using gift card. So we got some fascinating result, some very interesting result. First, we found that for the people who are shopping for gift, there is less impulse buy. So before I have to rush to the store to buy something before the season, so I say something on promotion, I think it's going to be good for my uh, as a gift, I buy it. So there are a lot of kind of uh, irrational, a kind of uh, impulse buy, but not anymore with the gift card. Now they just, they are very cool. They just go buy whatever they need for themselves and then grab the gift card. So the people who have the credit card, uh, who have the gift card, they can take time to do the, sh to the, to do the shopping. So this means that the holiday season could be much longer. So they do the shopping maybe not only in November and December, but also in January and maybe February. Uh, so this means that for the retailers, January is no longer a dead month. So they can, many people, they have a gift card, they show up and then they start to do shopping. Uh, and thirdly, we found that consumers who use gift card to pay, they tend to purchase more expensive products and newer products. So, and the fourth thing we found is that when people use gift card to pay, they not only spend everything on the gift card, but they purchase more. So there's a great opportunity for retailers to cross-sell other products. So all these findings has important implications for the marketing strategies for retailers. Their promotion pricing strategy may work before, during the holidays, but may be less effective now with the gift card. Uh, secondly, before the uh, 
uh, before the gift card, the retailers, they think January is the dead month. They usually, they do the inventory. So they get ready, uh, they put more new products in, on the shelf during the holidays, or maybe uh, way after the holidays, during February or March, get ready for the spring, but not anymore, because people are shopping during January also. Now, a lot of new and fancy products are actually introduced in January instead of the holiday seasons. Let me turn to now, as a consumer, someone who might get a gift card uh, during the holidays. What cautions should we be aware of when we're receiving a gift card? How, how should we use it? Uh, and, and what should we pay attention to? Mm -hmm. So gift card, there are still a lot of things that consumers need to pay close attention. So uh, first thing is that they have to read the little words uh, behind all the terms and uh, conditions. Uh, pay attention to find out, do you have to pay when you purchase? Do you have to pay when you use it? Or do you have to pay when you are not using it? There's a service charge when you are not using it, the monthly charge. Kmart used to charge a high amount, like $2 every month. And do you have to pay service fee? Or is the card allow cash refund? Uh, and also, uh, for the comparing the store cards versus bank card, bank cards are worse in terms of the these terms. So be very careful with the bank cards. The second thing is that use the card entirely and quickly because most of the cards have expiration date. And also avoid fraud. Um, when you buy the gift card at the retail store, make sure the number is still hiding. So because some people, they try to get the number when they, 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 they scramble it. And also be aware that it's risky to buy the card online. Uh, because some people, they stole the number and then they resell it online. You can get cheaper deal, but it could be very likely it can be a stolen number. And also, if you want to give the gift card, make sure you have the receipt together with the gift card. Uh, and also, another thing is that be very careful with purchase exception. So for example, uh, Apple uh, give out gift card, but the gift card cannot be used to purchase iPhone. So that's something that is in the new, uh, quite new, uh, so people should be careful. Let's turn now to extended warranties. Why do people buy extended warranties? This industry is also another very, very profitable industry. So I think they, they generate 15 billion as a profit every year. Uh, the retailers, they, they started to introduce extended service contract a few years ago, but they make huge profit, but they keep quiet about it. Uh, Circuit City, uh, almost 90 to 100% of their profit comes from warranty. Best Buy is more than 60%. So those stores, they don't make money out of selling products, but out of money. Uh, by selling extended service co contract. The profit margin is more than 18 times higher on ESC, on warranty, than on product. So you can see how uh, profitable are those uh, by selling this ESC. The, the, so the companies, they have motivations to sell ESC. But the consumer report always recommend people not to buy ESC because they think it's a ripoff. So we did some study. We find we try to find out why do people buy, even though all these uh, suggestions from the experts, but people still, they keep buying warranty. So we found that people buy warranty because uh, one fundamental economic driver is that they are not comfortable with the out-of-pocket out of pocket future replacement costs. The higher that cost, the higher they think the cost will be in the future, the more likely they're going to buy ESC. Uh, consumers are more likely to buy ESC, the warranty, if the product are luxury or have some hedonic value. And also, most importantly, the retail environment has some impact on consumers' propensity of buying ESC. So we found that consumers are more likely to buy ESC when they have a promotion. When they purchase on a promotion, they got some dollars off, and then they think it's extra income, they're more likely to buy ESC. And on top of this, if the promotion is unexpected or unadvertised, people are even more likely to buy ESC. Um, of course, demographic variable also play an important role. Surprisingly, we found that not high-income people, but low-income people are more likely to buy warranty. Uh, men and women, they are similar. Women are more risk averse because warranty is an insurance product. But in the same time, they are more price sensitive. So at the end, it's uh, by looking at numbers, men and women, they buy warranty at the same frequency. Um, and we found that people usually buy warranty on the weekends. 
and uh, um, if they used warranty before, they're more likely to buy warranty uh, again. So we also found very interesting is that consumers view warranty not as a substitute for uh, as a substitute for manufacturer's warranty. So basically, most of the electronic products they come with the manufacturer's warranty, but people don't buy it. People think that, think that manufacturer's warranty is a hassle. Manufacturers are uh, is a hassle to deal with, so they don't think the manufacturer's warranty will cover a lot. So that is why they don't think, even though products are covered by manufacturer manufacturer's warranty, they still buy warranty from retailers. They think retailers' warranty are more useful. Are more useful. Uh, we also found a service component of the warranty offered by retailers, offered by the retailers, because um, once they purchase warranty for other products, they use it, they develop the relationship with the retailer. When they go back to the retailer, enjoy the service, and then in the future, they're more likely to buy the warranty on other products, but from the same retailer. They're also more likely to go back to the warranty to purchase more products. So they add a service component. Now, you mentioned that uh, many consumer uh, advice uh, magazines, publications, have, have really advised people to not buy these things. Uh, the extended warranties are kind of unnecessarily patting the retailer or manufacturer's bottom line and, and really not helping the consumer. But that may be changing according to some of your research. What's driving that change? The offer of the warranty is that they say that I cover the major breakdown, but I don't cover the small breakdown. So there's a kind of a mental game that is playing uh, around. So that is why uh, the consumers, they don't come up with the accurate assessment. So it is kind of, and plus they offer, the, the retailers, they don't cover the small breakdowns, the, those situations. So that uh, shows that it is kind of a breakdown for the consumers. But things are changing uh, because now before, only Best Buy or retailer, be, uh, Best Buy or Circuit City offer warranty. But now, because other, all the other retailers, they realize it's a very profitable business, they all jump in and offer their own warranties. Like Walmart, before they refused to offer warranty, now they're changing their mind. Target, now they offer very good warranty. And also independent parties who don't sell, who are not retailers, who don't sell electronic products, they also offer warranty. So the question here is that things are changing because the market is becoming more and more competitive. So one advice to the consumers is that shop around. You don't have to buy the warranty from the place that you purchase the product. Go shop around, a third party can offer better coverage. Shop around and get a better deal. Competition always works for consumers. Thank you, Bong. Appreciate uh, your, <laughs> Thank your time you. today. Thank you. It's an interesting topic.